Yep, I just got a new motorcycle helmet. And I'm super excited. It looks really awesome. And uh, I'm gonna unbox it and get the first time reaction of how it looks in person right now. It's by I got. So, I got the Icon variant helmet. The variant Icon helmet. <laughs> yes. It's cool. It's this crazy new helmet. Um, it, it just and looks it, like Master Chief. It just looks second. Halo. <sighs> so they point to it, but they don't say what it is? Yeah, oh, there they are. Okay, I was wondering. Yeah, it's the opposite this time. <laughs> right, let's look at the back here. I wear a size large. And, um... <laughs> yeah, made in Korea. All right, I'm so excited to dig into this. Super mega excited. Oh, this is gigantic box. Excellent. You can see cool. here an instruction manual. I don't care. Comes with a dark <laughs> shield and comes in this awesome icon variant bag. Ooh, there's a oh, whole bunch of stuff on the bottom. Stuff in the bottom. Oh, this is the Icon Limiter magazine. It just tells you basically their other products, gloves, helmets, boots, from super expensive to their bargain lines. Um, we have things for the helmet. We got visors, I like this one. actually face shields, actually this one. the chameleon. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Um, let's see what else there is. Is that a poster? I think it's a poster. <laughs> No, it's not. Um, is it? I think it's no a way! <laughs> I was totally kidding about oh, that. Oh, cool. That's a humongous poster. It is a humongous poster. It does not poster. fit in frame. Cool. Alrighty. Let's get the box out of the way, too. And the Master Chief Helmet of Doom. This is the Icon Variant Battle Scar. I thought it said um, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> it is the charcoal gray version. Um, I think it looks purple on my GoPro, it does but it's a definitely bit. gray here. It's like. The gray is this bag, which also looks, no, it doesn't, but it's the same grayness as this bag. Trust me on that one. Um, it's not shiny. It's just kind of like this rubbery texture. Let's go inside the helmet here. So this oh, is a chin guard. It comes with a bottle of cleaning solution, microfiber. That did not come with my other helmet. Let's see here. What, this is a chin guard you said? Yeah, it's like a chin thing. It stops stuff from going up into the chin area. It's basically just kind of like a, it helps with ventilation. Here's the parts that are on, the, on it. There isn't really much to it. That's for oh. the key. Here. Forgot about this. More on this later. Back to the helmet, which I am very close to finally freeing. That's awesome. That is awesome. That looks really cool. Yeah. Yep. Let's put this over here. Let's compare that to my old helmet. Right here. I personally like your old helmet, but this, this is supposed is to like... be a better version of it, right? Well, it's not a better version. It's just a different version of it. This is oh. a complete road kind of helmet, like a racing helmet. This is the kind that you see like on MotoGP. And this is more of like, um, it's just more, I guess, like a Julian looking helmet. It just looks like a dual sport helmet mixed with the road. It is made for the road. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it is, it is so cool. I think both of these actually look really cool. And I might just wear one and then wear the other one. Yeah, they're both pretty cool. But again, I just favor that one. I'm going to change the shield and we're going to be right back. Another quick note is that this special tool, it comes in the helmet, is used to pry these things off. These little side. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous doing this. I'm not Don't gonna break lie. it. <laughs> no idea how it's supposed to come off. So just a quick note, this thing is extremely difficult to get off. Um, I had to pop the front off and then slide it forward. It kind of like, it kind of goes pop and then you pull it off by going as far forward as you can and lifting. So you can see that these fronts here clip in up top. And then the back here, you can see that it definitely slides like back and then closes. So when you do it, it's out, down, and out. This is the tool they give you. Again, I'm just gonna use this to remove this screw on this side. So here's the whole assembly for this. There is the screw, a washer, ooh, and then a plastic washer. Very important that you don't lose any of that. I just popped the front out here. You can see up top here that it's out. 
but I cannot for the life of me. It feels like I'm going to break it. It, it. it literally feels like I broke it, but it is okay. It is, it is craziness on how hard it is to get that off. The screws are out. Both these things are out. Now I have to remove the visor from this. So oh, you can wow. see that coming so actually, up. Wow. You can actually see this, this visor piece coming up off the helmet. This clicks out, it appears. This looks very breakable. Oh, there we go. It has to be all the way up. Got to lift this up and then this should pop out. I can see it trying to pop out. Oh man, this is dangerous. Sis, can you hold this? There you go. You can see that it has to be a very specific way. It's like a key type thing. Yep, it has to be up all the way. This is unbelievably a pain in the booty. Okay, so hold <laughs> this up. Let's make sure this is all the way up. Careful so you don't hit it on the visor when you... There you go. Again, that is extremely weird to do. There's the clear Everything shield. you do when it comes to changing the shield, it's like you're breaking it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you how easy it is to do on my other Icon helmet. What is this? There's literally a broken piece of plastic from something. What is it from? I don't know. I feel like it's from one of those side things. Oh, that really upsets me. So quick comparison here. We got this color and then this color, which is perfectly clear. Hey sis, can you help me real quick here? Just lift this up. Yep. Okay. I cannot see anything for this. Can you see it better at all? I cannot figure out how this works for the life of me. Oh, it just clicked in. What the heck? Let's see if that, yep, that's how it works. And then let's do the other side right here. Make <laughs> sure this goes up all the way. Okay, so you gotta kind of push it from the back. Jeez, where the heck does this thing even clip in? This is extremely, extremely not user-friendly at all. And the manual isn't very helpful either. How do you even begin to... There we go. Oh. Something clicked. The right side is not in properly. Jeez. Is that it? There we go. That it looks just, really cool. <laughs> it just locked into place. I'm going to replace the screws and we'll go from there. Okay, so now I'm gonna replace these things. It should be much easier this time, pushing it on as opposed to pushing it off. So you really have to, you put in the bottom one, click the top one, click the bottom, click the top. I'll try to show that on this side. You push down and then it twists out. <laughs> put it back in, easier. twist it up, click in. Yeah, it's considerably easier. Push it back as far as you can. And make sure this clicks back into place and make sure this clicks back into place. Okay, so I finally got the visor back on. It was a huge pain in the butt. Massive. I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to play with this again unless this visor is completely gone. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove on this helmet here. All you have to do is remove the side plate first, which just pulls right off. Like this. Lift up all the way. There's a little orange thing here. Move the orange thing to the front and it comes right out. clicks back into place like that. It goes back down, it's back in place. It just clicks into place with these snaps here. And that's it, you would just do that to both sides. It takes like a few seconds to do it, and then you're done. Let's compare the ventilation scheme on them. This helmet has vents here in the front, on top of this, inside of the helmet, there's two more vents here. One, two. One main one in the front. Then we have a vent here on the top. <laughs> which is controlled by this up here. You can see that open and close in there, hopefully. That's open, that's closed. And it also has two brow vents, which we will see right here. There's a brow vent right there. Just slides open and closes. Now my airframe, which is this one. This helmet has vents here on the bottom, on the chin, and then two really, really big vents on the top here, which you can see in the silver. 
that's all there is to it. That's the review of my Icon variant battle scar. Let's put it on real quick. <laughs> all right, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. <laughs> pretty awesome.